Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Technically Explained. In the previous video, we saw the output characteristics of the N channel junction field effect transistor, which was between the VDS, which is the drain to source voltage, and the ID, which was the drain current. We saw that the output characteristics had two regions one was the ohmic region, and the other was the saturation region. And this was our pinch off. At and the pinch off for the VGS is equal to 0 volt case, we have the maximum current which was called the IDSS. And then we said that the negative values of VGS allow us to reach the saturation level at the lower values of VDS. So this was VGS is equal to mi minus 1 volt and this allowed us to reach the saturation level, the VP voltage at the lower values of VDS. And the trend keep on increasing for the VGS is equal to minus 2 volt and for the VGS is equal to minus 3 volt and finally when VGS became VP we have the saturation level reached from the word go that is the saturation level was reached from the beginning this was the case from VGS is equal to VP and in this case the drain current is 0 milliampere and the n channel junction field effect transistor is turned off and this is my cut off region now if we can have a look the pinch of the voltage increases in a uh, in a manner that the pinch of locus makes a parabolic shape if you combine the locus of all these you will see that we have a parabolic shape over here now let me change this color to some other color so it's more visible to you now this region this region is called the ohmic region this region is the ohmic region and this region is the saturation level or saturation region also called the constant current region constant current region and now in this ohmic region if you have a look for the different values of VGS the slope of these lines are different if you have a look the slope of this line is though the slopes of all the lines are linear but the slope of these lines are different so we can say that because the region to the left of this pinch of locus is the ohmic region and the region to the right of the pinch of locus is the saturation region in the ohmic region junction field effect transistor can be used as a variable resistor because by varying the VGS which is the gate to source voltage which is the controlling voltage the, the, the channel resistance of junction field effect transistor is varying by varying this VGS the channel resistance of the junction field effect transistor is varying in this ohmic region as you can have a look as VGS is becoming more and more negative as the VGS the gate to source voltage is becoming more and more negative the slope is becoming more and more horizontal and as the slope becomes more and more horizontal we know that the slope when becomes more and more horizontal the slope is decreasing and we know that here the, the resistance is inverse of the slope so the resistance keeps on increasing so in other words we can say that as the VGS is made more and more negative the resistance of the channel increases now we can so we can understand this to a simple equation which is given by rd is equal to r naught divided by 1 minus vgs divided by vp whole square where rd is the resistance of channel resistance of channel at negative values of vgs at negative values of vgs And R0 is the resistance of channel, resistance of channel at VGS is equal to 0 volt. Resistance of channel at VGS is equal to 0 volt. 
so if you can have a look the channel resistance is going to increase as the vgs becomes more and more negative we can do this by a simple example we are given that the resistance of channel when vgs is equal to 0 volt is 10 kilo ohm find the resistance of channel when vp is equal to minus 6 volt and vgs is equal to minus 3 volt now the resistance of channel at vgs is equal to 0 volt is 10 kilo ohm we know that when the resistance when the vgs voltage becomes negative the resistance is going to increase how much it is going to increase we are we are going to again use the same formula which is r naught divided by 1 minus vgs divided by vp whole square which means 10 kilo ohm divided by 1 minus my vgs is minus 3 and vp is minus 6 and then we have the whole square again 10 kilo ohm divided by this minus and minus is going to cancel and we have 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square which is 10 kilo ohm divided by 1 by 2 whole square which is 10 kilo ohm divided by 1 by 4 which comes out to be 40 kilo ohm so the resistance of channel at vgs is equal to minus 3 volt is 40 kilo ohm whereas the resistance of channel at vgs is equal to 0 volt was 10 kilo ohm so we can safely say that as we increase as we made the gate to source voltage more and more negative the resistance of the channel increases as it is given evident from this equation and as it is evident from this example thank you